so all oh, you're foreign <laughs> <laughs> is that not a good intro? I, I... I'm foreign. Uh, so there we go, guys. I'm friends with foreigners. You guys can hit subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show you. Don't look at yourself in the viewfinder. Foot one. Okay, you're oh. on my channel, right? Look, look at me. You're engaging with me. I wanted. <laughs> I want to show you quintessentially British things that happened years ago. So you, you won't like experience them in the UK today, as I know and love it. All right. Post Brexit UK. Exactly. <laughs> That's not what I mean. It's, it's not. I never supported that. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be showing you like things which a lot of British people will feel nostalgic for, but maybe wouldn't exist in today's climate. To be clear, this includes you. You're nostalgic for this as well. Yes. Yeah. No, okay. but no, I'm not. I don't. I don't miss this. Right. So I, I like. I. I remember it and go. That was weird. I don't Whatever know. this thing that you're going to show me, you're a big supporter of it. <laughs> I told all that we're going to be watching a lot of misogynistic ads. <laughs> I'm not a misogynist, which is why I brought in a man to react. <laughs> <laughs> Yorkie, it's not for girls. I, I know that you like this. No, I don't like this. I know. But look, it's it's Nestle. This was this was a reputable. This was like a big brand. Yeah. Or it is. It still is. Girls can have it now. <laughs> They're allowed to. So it's a chocolate bar that was made with the idea of like, you got to be a man to have this. What made it manly? It's cho it's chocolate, you know? <laughs> What's the difference between a manly chocolate and a girly chocolate, I guess? <laughs> Nothing. And this was just a marketing ploy. I love this one so much. Not available in pink. <laughs> Growing up as a boy, whenever a girl was eating a Yorkie, you'd be like, Ugh, you can't do that. You'd call the police. Yeah, you would. <laughs> this is a problem. Girls should not be allowed. We're not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> Why did they... Not want women to get this that much. Well, I, I guess it's think... advertising to boys. Yeah, but it's also reverse marketing. Girls growing up would be like, oh, I can't have this. So yeah. they'd have it. But it hasn't aged <laughs> well. You, you must know McCoy's. Clearly this type of branding worked. They used to be called um, Man Cox. Crisps. Man Cox. <laughs> oh, I can't get enough of them. <laughs> he eats it like a man. Look at the way he eats that crisp. It's not It's not a simple pop it in the mouth. It's yeah. Like, it's like, that's how I do it, because yeah. I'm, I'm manly as well. Sorry, mate. Oh, yeah. All right. These are the most the most masculine things, right? Gambling. Pub. Pubs. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Bald head. And they it All of a sudden, I really want some McCoys. McCoys. Ridged, thick, and unashamedly colossal. This is so sexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not misogynistic in as much as it is just phallic. In yeah, its, it's very phallic. Thick, ridged, thick, veiny, meaty, <laughs> veiny cut. McCoy's man crisps. Man crisps. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, they, and then they have a crunch. The back it goes. What? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> It ends, with, it ends with right. Does that make you want to eat a, a McCoy? I wonder if I can eat it less now, as it's not a man crisp anymore. It's just a crisp. Wow, yeah. Is it a gender neutral crisp? Is it a... This PC world's gone mad. Yeah. <laughs> These crisps aren't for men anymore. <laughs> Who are they for? Are they crisps for non-men? This is crazy. <laughs> Told you not to buy a cheap sat now. We need to take the next left. We're just three men getting lost in the woods. What's gonna, what will happen? What are we gonna discover? What are we gonna work out about ourselves? <laughs> what are we? <laughs> hey, why don't we ask someone for directions? That's not manly. <laughs> He's not gonna eat the Chris. They're gonna fucking grab it off of his head. I actually quite like this because this is kind of more of a talk on toxic masculinity. Do you feel like this is a later one? They were like, it must have been. Because <laughs> we're, we're, what we're about to see is a bit more. <laughs> oh, don't be that guy. He's gonna hit him with a stick. Never in all my life. McCoy's ridge, thick, and ran <laughs> full of flavor. <laughs> get the car. Not you get in the car. He was undeserving for it. After yeah, he, he didn't earn the man crisp because wow. he asked for directions. You see how it's kind of like. I feel like this is self aware. Yeah. Yeah, this is a lot more self aware. This is when PC culture has started to go mad. This, <laughs> yeah. this one came out in 2002. So you would have been, what, 15? When I saw you put that ad earlier, I was about to make. The exact same <laughs> joke to you with the number 15. Really? Fully. <laughs> Yorkie, please, mate. Yorkie, it's not for girls. They're depicting a very dystopian society here. Where women go to simply buy some chocolate. <laughs> But then they're not allowed. They are showing that women want it though, which is nuts, by the way, that they're like, women really want this. Well, that's but they can't have it. We keep them in our adverts, <laughs> but they can't touch our chocolate. Yorkie, please, mate. Oh, you want a Yorkie, do you? Yeah. 
<laughs> not a bird by any chance. Are you a bird? <laughs> you better, you better fucking not be. Because this shit's, this shit's this shit not for girls. Slaps. <laughs> oh, this shit slaps, <laughs> lassie. Explain the offside rule then. What? So he's saying, can you explain the offside rule then? I don't know what you said just now. You, uh, can you not understand that? <laughs> no. Deadass, I'm just saying it how it is. That's in my accent. You explain the offside rule then. <laughs> what? And it's, uh, it's so obvious. Is this how you've always been talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I really but Specifically that. with that sentence. Yeah. It's can you explain the offside rule then? Oh, okay. Which obviously a woman, wow. a woman, a woman would never know that, right? <laughs> in this society, they're also not allowed to watch football as well. Or play it. Yeah, or play it or know what it is. Even though the, the women's football team in the UK is, is it's, it's higher performing. A player cannot be in an advanced position of the opponent's last defender when the ball is played. Open that. Is that how, like, the UK was back then? Like, every time you went to buy a Yorkie, you had to open a fucking jar or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. But when, when it's these days, if you order a Yorkie, you're opening a can of worms. What kind of flowers are these? Purple. <laughs> That's actually quite good. <laughs> Purple. You know, that wrapper really brings out the beautiful blue of your eyes. Really? Yorkie. <laughs> Clearly, the, the male gaze is so integral there. Oh! You like my eyes? Yeah. Thank you for catcalling me, <laughs> random old Scottish man. A woman's favorite treat is not a Yorkie. It's a compliment. <laughs> Darling, you should smile more. Really? Five big masculine chunks of chocolate. Yorkie, <laughs> it's not for girls. The things I would do for five big masculine <laughs> chunks of chocolate. They're talking about dick. Be rammed down my throat. Are they talking about dick in those ads? No. As a kid, is that something you thought you thought? Dick. <laughs> Have you, you listened? Thought about? Have you listened to Carl Lights, lad? Do you ever feel like this? Yeah, when I carry a bunch of groceries, I'm like, I just want help, man. When's the last time you carried groceries anywhere? Oh, Christ. <laughs> this is. Oh, uh, this is the this is the male fantasy. A lot of people say it's just being at the game, watching your team score a few goals. No, it's it's carrying <laughs> become a Viking <laughs> <laughs> and carrying carrying a woman through what appears to be the Lake District. Come on, man. You know what? That's what I love to see. Men putting things in holes. I think there's a lot of this in the ad. I think you're also coming into this recording with a lot of stuff pent up inside. I have no idea what you mean. Because this was just a guy with a key, man. Your key. Man fuel for man stuff. It's no longer not for girls. <laughs> it's man fuel for man stuff. Yeah, it's, it's much better that way, right? We've got around the boardroom, right? And these girls are saying that this is misogynistic. <laughs> so what we're gonna do instead is focus less on the girls and more on the men. <laughs> About how awesome it is to be a dude. Yeah, man fuel. Uh, looking back, I'm glad that it is kind of at the expense of men, the ads. I feel like it's both though. Yeah. It's tongue in cheek, but it also does play into that. Yeah. Yeah, both. I almost feel like the brand itself was the problem. The whole not for girls crossed out women sign. Yeah, that's like <laughs> probably the worst part. Just of it. a bad starting point, I guess. Yeah. Yorkie and me rolling on. Wait, they actually made a Yorkie song. That's a good song. You should make something like that, James. What 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 food would I make a song for though? Prime. Welcome to Prime, the energy drink. It needs a song. I'm gonna make a song and I'm gonna call KSI and Logan Paul and ask them to listen to my song. I'm gonna harass Logan Paul and <laughs> give my song a listen. <laughs> it still leads into the manly thing, I guess. Yeah, but it's but less like, at the expense of women. Yeah, it's just good vibes. You're on the road, you're gonna have a Yorkie. So maybe if we want women to be treated correctly, we should go back to the 70s. From that chunky bar of mine. He also calls it, what did he call it there? Chunky bar of mine. I'm going to get a tattoo of that over my car. <laughs> Alright, it's a girl and a boy. Can I make it any more obvious? Can I have any more chocolate? Ah, <laughs> uh, guess who's forgotten his yogurt. <laughs> guess who forgot it, you? This fucking guy. I, I, I'm gonna use that as a phrase now. If someone, <laughs> if someone's like not having a good day, uh, you know, oh, someone's forgotten the Yorkie. Guess who's forgotten it. <laughs> Kind of lame though. They're all beautiful people. Well, we're British, of course we are. <laughs> There's 
seven big chunks in the Yorkie. With the old Yorkies, it's more kind of done through the way of like, if you eat these, women will like you. Then they did the more tongue in cheek vibe, which feels like that's sort of making fun of the old ones in like an extreme way. Yes. But it still kind of feels, it has that vibe still. It goes along similar lines, but it's less explicitly about women. It's it's more about the men. Uh, the female gaze loves a man who's having a Yorkie. Yeah, it's about like the like a guy fantasy, like but full on. The weather is gonna make you slow. Just take it. Take it a chunk at a time. Bro, why have Yorkie come in with like the life lessons, dude? Take life at a chunk at a time. Someone's forgot their Yorkie. Yeah, that's a life um, lesson. <laughs> big meaty. Again, it's the, the female lens. Oh, oh, he's eating a Yorkie. <laughs> oh, this guy's so hot. He's oh eating God, a candy. He's so, he's so fucking hot. Grown um, man eating candy all day. He's so hot. Oh. Ha 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 ha!